Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is about uh, my uh, fishing setup uh, with my inflatable boat. As you guys can see it in my uh, videos. So uh, let's start with the trailer. Uh, as you can see, attached to my car. It's a 2015 Outback Subaru. So uh, uh, the trailer is uh, an utility trailer. Probably you can see it on my channel too. Uh, building of the trailer. So uh, attached to the car. Trailer is a 4x8 or 8x4 doesn't matter uh, depends how you're looking at it um, I installed uh, this uh, installed uh, pads that the uh, boat is sitting on so uh, we went into six trips already with the boat and the trailer behaves uh, pretty good is that uh, it the, the only thing is it's light the boat is light, so the trailer kind of like uh, does a lot of noises because it's so light. There is not much weight on it. Also, I uh, got the trailer with a spare spare wheel. Um, everything uh, has uh, locks. Install a hitch lock. The spare has a lock. Uh, what else? So let's look at the boat. Right, it's a 10.3 foot boat, inflatable with a keel, inflatable keel. So as you can see, uh, put it in the water a couple of times, had no issues backing up the trailer into the water, and uh, the boat floats nicely. Uh, put it back into the trailer; it's pretty, pretty easy. Again, just put the trailer in the water and. Uh, boat just goes on the support uh, what I did to the boat I, I let uh, I left with only one bench uh, because I put the fish finder on the bench it's attached to the bench on the back but I took out the front bench so we have more space to uh, for us to fish uh, for the boat, I just bought like a Minkora 45 pounds Traxxas. Um, I sold my 30 pounds truss motor and I just got my, just got this 45. It's a big improvement also on the boat. As you know from my previous videos, I have these wheels. Uh, I only use them once because where I go, uh, there's a ramp and I use the ramp. Uh, what else uh, for my fishing setup? Yeah, you saw the uh, you saw the fish finder. It's right on the bench. Uh, and the uh, trolling motor. I installed the fish finder. It's on the trolling motor. Uh, installed with the wire going all the way up, and it's gonna go into the fish finder. Uh, I'm trying to protect the fish finder with some uh, bubble wrap so scratched uh, the transducer also uh, uh, I bought this Stanley box it's a very small box um, I found it on a uh, clearance on Home Depot so what I have in the box some tools and inside there's the fish finder battery uh, and some braid tape, braid for my fishing rods. So I use this for the battery. Uh, what else do I have? I have some boxes uh, for my uh, all my fishing gear that I'm using. Uh, it's uh, organized with uh, soft lure, soft baits, uh, hard baits, and they're just hooks and tools. Um, uh, what else for the boat is the uh, ratchet straps. So I'm using three ratchet straps to, to tie the boat. One here, one here, goes around and ties into the frame. And uh, one in the front 
that it's tying the front of the boat. Um, I also use one ratchet strap for the it's going right here and it's trying to keep this uh, supports together so they don't uh, spread when the boat is pushing against them the front seems to be okay the back seems to be spreading apart I also did also what I did before I had only this one and it's coming outwards so when the boat is pushing when the boat is pushing this in an angle this is going outwards so I put another one that is coming here and it's also supporting the back so the boat doesn't push this in an angle so now it's it's good uh, I didn't have an issue I just put the racket strap just in case but last uh, trip we didn't have it and it uh, I didn't move so that's good um, what else for the fishing boat um, so uh, we we got an anchor rope is a 50 50 foot rope uh, I uh, put a chain I put a chain and I also tied uh, the way they're saying with a with a zip tie here and it's attached to the bottom uh, I have to find another way of uh, doing this zip tie I don't really feel comfortable with uh, leaving the zip tie into the water onto the water but for now I don't have any other solution um, I might have to use braid uh, not braid uh, I might have to use uh, some mono line um, but I have to test it first to see when it's breaking so but for now for the lake we're going um, we never had to actually break that the anchor is coming off the bottom pretty nice uh, the next thing uh, yeah pipe jackets uh, uh, also we have I'm using three rods um, for my fishing uh, I use the one uh, uh, I think that one is an uh, ugly stick elite 6.6 .6 medium um, and uh, this one is a uh, Berkey uh, 7 foot lightning rod uh, medium heavy the middle one and this one I'm just taking just in case I don't have time to re tie this to so this is a, just a spinning rush Rapala ambush uh, just had it in the uh, my son was using it before and uh, uh, I got him a new rod so I'm just using that just in case my other two something happens with my other two uh, I'm using uh, I'm using 50 pounds braid on this two with uh, mono backing and also mono leader and uh, also I have a fishing net I have the one that they're saying that the fish uh, like it's not hurting the fish when you get the fish inside uh, we used it we got like around seven big basses so uh, we actually used that one um, also for the trolling motor I'm using a 24 a group 24 Kirkland marine battery uh, we were using it with the, the 30 pound trust one and uh, yeah it lasted a long time uh, after five hours of fishing we were coming back with like 70 percent last time we went to the with the 45 uh, tracks and we came back with 60 percent so it's pretty good and we're actually going faster with this one uh, I'm thinking buying an uh, outboard, a gas outboard but I'm still uh, fighting the idea because of the noise and the uh, maintenance that I have to do with that one but probably the range a little bit whatever uh, whatever I have to do like maintenance so getting more range might be more beneficial so yeah I'm pretty happy with the setup all what you see here goes into in the back of my uh, my Subaru uh, so uh, the motor battery the fishing rods anchor live vests 
all the boxes. So everything except the boat, uh, which stays on the trailer. Everything goes in the trunk of my uh, of my uh, outback. So uh, hope this was helpful, and uh, maybe I gave you some ideas about how to set up your fishing boat. I'll uh, see you in the next video uh, where I'm uh, putting the trailer into the water. Now that I get more experience and I don't have to make a fool of myself. So uh, I'll see you in the next video.